everything is pretty much the way it was at the end of yesterday's episode. And uh, I'm probably going to be doing a lot of thinking out loud here. Okay, remember we concluded that this one was likely the center one. That means that these two are the outside ones. And being as that the way this is tapered at the end here, or angled at the end here, and being as that the inside diameter of this part here diminishes as it goes down, it means that in all likelihood, when this goes in, it's going to have to go like that. Okay. So I think if we take these and try not to bend it here. Okay, hold this one like that. Now for those of you who like to watch this in real time and sort of pretend that you're with me and you're watching the uh, model making with all its frustrations, well, <laughs> you're going to be real happy here because this sort of goes on and on for what seems to be forever. I need three hands. Okay. Now I think this is going to go something like this. Doesn't that look right to you? Alright, if that goes like that. Then the rate I'm going here, this whole video is going to be just putting this together. I suppose I could fast forward it, but then so can you. Okay, get these out of the way. Oh. Oh, <laughs> I should have known that was going to happen. All right, here's another another idea. How would it be if I had this one upside down? Like that. Just lean it up against the side there. Don't anybody sneeze. Remember I said yesterday that it didn't matter which way these went around. They're, they're uh, symmetrical. Okay, something like this. Okay, put that one on. You know, I didn't know this was going to be this hard. Maybe I've got the wrong kind of tweezers going on here. Maybe I should have the, the sharper ones. I didn't want to use the sharper ones because I was afraid that they might... Uh... Oh, here, I'll try the sharper ones. There. Now I'll put this one right on here. Like that. And the third one, yeah. I don't think there's anything in the rule book that says I can't use my fingers. All right. Now, what would happen if we, uh, which one now we concluded that this was the inside one, so this is another outside one. So it has to go like this. If I hold this down, I'm probably casting a shadow now. Now if I was to pick this up, can I get these in there without the whole thing falling apart? Maybe I'll hold it differently. I would be able to hold it like, like this. Oh, what a mess.
Okay, about uh, 15 minutes has passed here and I've got these tweezers being held in place by a little dollar store clamp. And uh, I haven't tried this yet, but I'm thinking, what if, if I squeeze together here, it's going to put tension all over the whole thing. Oh, come on. We are so close. I got it. Don't anybody move. Well, this is great now. How do I pick that up without it falling apart? Because I can't glue it up while it's sitting on the paper. I should have done it on a piece of glass. I'm going to get it onto this piece of waxed paper here. I don't think the CA glue will stick to that. Whereas I know it'll probably stick to the glass. And, uh... I think if I slip this stiff piece of paper underneath the first page here, I should be able to carefully slide this whole thing onto like that. Now if I'm careful, I should be able to slide it onto the waxed paper and straighten it out. Now. I'll uh, slip on the macro lens so that you can see a little closer. Right now I'm noticing that it's actually upside down. Now if I put a little drop of CA thin right there on the joint, it might run right down and sort of pool on the, you know, on the waxed paper be on the bottom here. And then when I flip the thing right side up, I'm going to have uh, obvious little, uh, you know, blobs of glue in the, on what will be the top which is now the bottom, so that was sort of a roundabout way of saying I think I'm going to turn it over very carefully if I can. Okay, can I here? I sure do not want to have to put this all together again. And, oh. Okay, now all I have to do is drop this one piece in there. That shouldn't be too hard. Get my tweezers here. Okay, that wasn't the end of the world after all. Now at first I thought there was something wrong here because these three short cross pieces they're kind of angled, you know, like this. And then I realized that the slots had actually been, uh, you know, grooved that way. Now, I don't know how it looks to you, but I'm looking straight down on it. And it, each one of these little corners seems to be 90 degree. In other words, it's square. Uh, sometimes I think it could go more one way than the other. and. If I quit poking at it, it'd probably be perfect. This is going to be the first time that I've used this applicator on thin. You know what? It's it's already set up there.
Now did I get them all? It almost seems to have gotten out of square on me here. Let's see if I can straighten it just a little. No, it's all one piece now. It is what it is. I've just looked at this through my microscope and I could see every joint and every joint had glue in it. Um, yeah, even though I couldn't see it running down there when I was put, putting it on, it actually did. Um, this has worked out much better than I thought it would. Now, it may be a little bit hard to see from that far back, but this end here is sort of a little notch, and I, you can sort of see it here, maybe. The, in other words, this end goes here, so that means this end has to go here. And I haven't tried this yet. This is going to be the first time. I don't know how well this is going to fit. Maybe it's a little bit too far down. Okay, now I believe that that uh, spidery thing that we are going to have to put on the top here, what I call the daddy long legs, I could be wrong. Why don't I get it and see how it comes? Oh no, I, I was thinking that uh, I was thinking that it matched up. With, with these cross pieces here, but it doesn't. So, uh, yeah. How does that look? Does that look like I got it far enough down? Okay, I'm pretty sure that this end here is supposed to be even right here. In other words, the top of this metal piece is supposed to be flush with the top of this plastic funnel. But I think that this end is supposed to be down just a little to accommodate this. Let's see if I can get that in place there. You know, I think that this is supposed to go down like that. Now, when this goes down and it's in the right spot, then this, I think, comes up on me. So I, th well, I think maybe what I should do is fasten one end first, and we'll just worry about one end, and then get this end in place. You know what? This end is just about right now. Maybe I should put a little drop of CA glue on that. I wonder if I could do it somehow from the other side without everything falling out. Probably not. Now, in the event that the CA doesn't uh, go down inside the crack here, what I'll do is I'll take my sanding stick after I do believe that went in. Let's hold that down. Now I do believe these are down about as far as they can go in the back here. Whoops. How do we get that straight now? No, I'm gonna have to try and oh it's not as bad as I thought. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I got it. 
Once again, you can see it better than I can. Okay. Well, it's not going to fall out of there. Okay, it looks a little bit scratched here, right? Well, I just took my sanding stick here now, and I just flushed this off so that it's uh, got rid of any extra CA glue that was on the top there oozing out, or it really wasn't oozing out, but I did see little tiny droplets. And I thought, may as well. And when I put this on, you know, I'll know that it's as good as possible. Now I think I'll try and have this up so it hides that crack. Well, maybe the best thing to do is to hold that down with something. I'll put something on top of it. A little pair of tweezers or something just to give it some weight and then I'll drop some CA glue on the... and it can sort of wick its way in. That CA thin seems to work pretty good with this photo etch. I'm pleasantly surprised actually. Okay, quit poking. Okay, can I touch this on there now without moving anything? I think it wicked its way in. Well, I did move it, but it's still it's still basically straight. I don't think I need to uh, put any in under the. Oh, somebody's coming to the door. I gotta go. Okay, it's what I thought it was. It, there's an election coming up here in a couple of weeks, and they're just canvassing the area. Oh, that's all right. Okay. Okay, if I swing it around 90 degrees and we look at the other side here now, you can sort of see where the glue is, but it's nothing serious. I was uh, thinking of maybe trying to fill that crack with glue, but I might make it look worse than it, you know, right, maybe right now it might sort of look natural. I think that after all of this is painted, um, you know, it might, uh, uh, it should be okay. You know, I was just thinking here, I'm should I maybe prime this? Maybe I should use the primer on this on this particular piece right here. It won't hurt the plastic, and it might work well on the photo etch. Maybe I'll try the white primer, because when I do the gray, well, on the other hand, maybe the gray's good enough. It doesn't matter. You know what? It doesn't matter. Primer's primer, right? Wrong. What is the best way now to try and fasten this on? hard to hang on to. You know what, once again I've got the wrong tweezers. Okay, it's got to go on something like this. And uh, this end up here I do believe fastens on right pretty much where it is right now. And I think the best way for me to go is to just try and individually put each little segment on the side and then do the back and the front or I guess it would be the I don't know which is which here yeah th this is the back here anyway I do the back and the front then go around to the other side and just sort of buckle everything into place it's yeah this is going to be kind of awkward here and uh, the hardest part is going to be to not break it before the bottle's finished. But if if I can do it, it will really add to the detail if you get close enough to actually be able to see it. Okay, I realize this is a really bad angle for you. However, I just wanted to see where does the front of this attach on that little box. And it looks like it attach attaches right at the very top at the back of the box. And of course, back here, it attaches to the top, right along the rim. I have this propped up more or less level now, so that the thing will stay on wherever I put it, and won't want to slide to one end or the other. And I think what I'm going to do is, I'm going to put a little tiny bit of CA glue on the front right here, and lock this into place, and then start working my way back. I've got an idea. 
I'll put the macro lens on so that you can see. Yeah. I think I've got a 50-50 um, a chance that I'll get this. All right, now I want to try and have this as far back on that box as possible and yet still not falling off. And, and also pretty much in the center. You know, it's, it's pretty close like that. Oops. You know, I think I'm going to have to tape this thing down. It keeps wanting to move on me. Okay, this might work better. Let's give it a whirl here. Okay, the idea is I want to put a little tiny drop right at the back of that box and then set this in it. I got a better idea. Why don't I dip the pointy end of this thing into the CA glue and see if I can get a little tiny droplet on this, on this and then set it on top of there. I'm going to try that. I know you can't see me doing it, but that's what I'm doing right now. Oops, I bent it. Okay, there's a little tiny droplet on there. Is that centered? Pretty, pretty centered. Could maybe come my way a little. You know, I could be wrong, but I don't think there's anything on there. Okay. Plan B. Well, I know it's making contact. It's a little bigger than I wanted. We'll just let that cure now. Now, obviously, I can't have this uh, tape there. Okay, now I've got to get that out from under there without breaking my spider. Let's see if we can save this piece of tape. That frog tape was a little bit on the expensive side, probably because I got it from Amazon. I had to pay for the delivery, even though it was free delivery. Would likely have been a little cheaper if I had of, you know, got it from Home Depot or something, but I didn't. Anyway. Okay, what I'm going to try to do is keep the part that I'm working on in focus. You will probably notice that, you know, back here it's getting a little fuzzy. And uh, whereas right here, where I'm working right now, that's what I'm focused on. I just want to get this knife underneath that intersection so I can shove this down. Can it be shoved down and hooked hooked in here somehow? You know, it could be that I have to put something underneath here where the tip of my knife is and hold this up and then bend both of these down at the same time. Yeah, let's try that. Something like that only it's got to be just a I think you can see what I'm trying to do here. This one here, I'll, I'll work on that later. We'll get this one, then this one, then this one. Then we'll do this one. Then we'll do the back one here. What I've got here is the stick from a Q-tip. And it could be that this is just too large of a diameter. cut it at an angle so it would sort of go underneath nice and easy but that doesn't seem to be making a whole lot of difference 
I don't want to be breaking my CA joint that we just put on either. Ooh, that's, this is really finicky, I can tell you. If I get this straight in line here now. Hold that in there and push this in here. Okay, now the idea is I want to have this right down the middle. Right down, I guess you'd call this part right here, the spine of it. Um, okay, now if I was to push down on this one and this one at the same time, maybe I could use one of my, let's see here, let something like this work better. Yeah, I do believe that worked. Now what I could do is put a little dab of CA on the end there. I do believe this worked. Okay, now what, then once these ends cured, I'd work on these, these two, yeah. That'll work. Okay, I'm just wondering now. Can I push this in here so it sort of locks in place? Oops, bumped it out. There. Now drop a little bit of CA right there. Now, would it be possible to do the same on this side right now? Yes, it is. Don't want to accidentally hook that thing and pull it out. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I got it. Okay, we have moved back a section now, and I'm hoping my CA glue is cured. I put it on right there and right there. And just get this back a bit. I don't think we need it all the way forward. idea is we try and do these at the same time so it sort of forms a little roof little peak on a roof there now maybe maybe I don't need this in here anymore maybe I'll just get it out of the way very carefully now Leave it down there for the last one. I know this must be like watching paint dry. Push it down right here, just a little. Maybe move it over a little. This uh, photo, which uh, 
it stays bent pretty much the way you put it. Okay, now this one is right, so let's glue that one in place. Oh, that's not working. Or is it? Well, it's staying on the plastic, but it's not full. It's not really staying on the end of the photo etch thing there. I'm trying to square it up. Okay, I got a little bit more here. Hopefully it'll... Try to get it to... Well, let's let that cure. I, I do believe that the photo etch uh, the end of the photo edge piece is touching the that cross cross member. About five minutes has passed now since we did this end here, and I'm thinking it's probably fastened. I haven't tried it yet, but we'll soon know. Yeah, it's not lifting. Okay, so can I hook this in here now? Is it? hookable. Maybe it's... Get this this old jeweler's screwdriver going here. It's kind of blunt on the end. Yes. It's really hard to get it to stay there. It keeps wanting to stay stuck on the needle. There we go. Yeah, just try it just a little bit more. Okay, I know there's lots there. Now let's see if I can just carefully, carefully push this down. I could just get it to if I had a little tiny person that could go and spray some curing agent right on that spot. Oh, no I'm stuck. Maybe if I blew on it. It worked. Now there's something I want to clear up here just in case there's somebody that does not understand how this uh, CA glue works. My breath did not dry it. The moisture in my breath accelerated the curing. Now it was probably just about ready to, uh, you know, to uh, cure anyway, but uh, yeah, we'll, 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 we'll just say it was my breath. Now I am noticing here that this video is already quite long. I'm just going to go ahead and do the uh, last two there, the ones that I just bent, the same way, and also up here, these ones. And uh, yeah, in the meantime, thanks for watching, and all being well, we'll see you tomorrow.